we've drove down to get the waves crashing on the wall and <laughs> what we're seeing is us yeah. it's, it's just incredible for here you just don't have a look Welcome to another video. <laughs> I've got to do my bit here because it's sheltered before we head down. Yeah, before we head down to a very stormy perch rock. We could have traveled a 400 mile round trip today, but this one here, won't feel in it. And today's an example of shooting local, local for me. Not for someone else who's joining me today. He's on his way and I'm really excited to share this day with him. It's been a long time coming, but uh, we're at Perch Rock, New Brighton, and today we're expecting minimum of a 10 and a half metre tide. Two to three times a year this happens. And as you know, it's the storm. Everyone's talking about and no one can pronounce. We'll call it Cara. Storm Cara, right? It's 10 o'clock. High tide is at half 11. And I'm looking down and I'm seeing some big waves. So uh, I'm kind of under a bit of pressure because we should have gone to Porth Call. Yes, I know. The ultimate crashing waves lighthouse. But instead, I've got you. Perch Rock. Fingers crossed. Here we are in the wilds of New Brighton on a Morrison's car park at 10 o'clock in the morning. Today we're here to shoot Perch Rock Lighthouse in a 10 metre 10. Like I said earlier, it happens twice a year. Give or take a few fluctuations, but never does it line up with a storm and gusting winds. 45 mile an hour winds today. Oh, it's looking good. We're two hours off full tide. Right, let's go and have a look. We're going on the hunt for where's Gary? <laughs> Long story short, he's made it. I think he's a little bit shocked by the size of these waves. It's looking good. Oh, so I'm gonna grab a bit of video when I can because it's very windy. Pure storm. Warm. It's crazy. It feels it feels warm. Oh, shot. Right, let's find Gary. 
I've been on a wild goth chase. I found him. Yeah, this is going to be hard to record. There's, <laughs> it's gusting and we're getting some mammoth waves crashing over the seawall. Look at this. Have a look at this. So let me introduce you to a man who's forgot his camera. Today I'm with the big man, Mr. Gary Goff. You know where he is, you know where he is with his 50,000 subs. <laughs> All right. And we're here to catch some big waves. I've already explained to you. One of us is. <laughs> yeah. Now he's, he's getting it uh, delivered. He's got someone in an helicopter bringing it, you know. <laughs> These superstars. That's what happens when you're an international YouTube Inter star. Yeah, international. international. <laughs> <laughs> or, a, or a dumbass. I'll so, go for the dumbass bit. I'll second that, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing I'm, everything on my iPhone today. I've done about 50,000 subs. I think it's just when you get over 50. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly yeah. 60. So we were going path call, as I've said. And he was looking at, like... What are you on about, Mally? Why are we going to New Brighton? Well, we've saved a bit of fuel. I'm hoping he's got by me my dinner now. Probably saved him about 120 quid in fuel. Have a look at this. I've caught a few shots and we've had some idiot walking across there. We, we thought it was his kid. Either that or he's, he likes young ladies, I don't know, one or the other. And his dog. Yeah, and his dog. Idiot. Never guess what? I've got another Sherpa. He's <laughs> got not my lights out in a bit. We're having lots of fun, even with no camera. Still no camera. She's still not here. Kick on it, duo. One he's, with, one without. He's showing off now because he's got wellies. Oh, hey, look at this. He's standing in the only puddle because he's got wellies. Yeah. <laughs> showing off. Come on, look after the hour, fella. Say hello. Hello. We say, we say hello to you, Molly, or you, Gary. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. That's Charles. He walked up, walked over and said, all right, Molly. Never even met him. I've made it. I've made it, it Gary. Me. I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> all good fun. Look at this, though. Look at this. So just to let you know what's happening, we've come for the big, big swell and we've had a couple of times where it's gone up the side of the lighthouse but because where it's positioned at perch rock it's it's not it's no path call yes i know Th that one's for you gareth we'll get there one day trust me but for now i could have been there today for the record i'm only here because of you i'm here to photograph Do you know why he's four, here i'm My here to photograph these four foot waves right <laughs> <laughs> because what's the point of having all the way down to Wales photographing 40 foot waves when four foot waves well, are dude, equally as good? Well, equally as good Absolutely. and as interesting. Unquestionably. <laughs> oh, I just seen them. Oh, look at oh, that. It was four that. foot wave. Yeah, that was about 30 odd feet. Easy. Oh, ho, ho. we're now at peak time. What time is it? No, another 10 minutes for the 10 and a half metre. But right now, we're just, I'm just waiting for this shot of the lighthouse, but it, it's gonna shoot up the side. Honestly, it will. quarter of an hour I uh, think it's starting to just uh, go off a little bit but it's still wild and guess what yeah he's got his camera 
As if I'd really forget my camera, seriously. He did. So I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment now. I've got I think I've got the shot today with the big wave going up as best I could. With lots of drama. So now we're gonna stick some filters on. <laughs> we're gonna stir things up. I think a three stop, fifth of a second or half a second and and we're just gonna see what kind of arty, moody, fine art kind of shots we can get. I ain't no Rachel Talibert, but yeah, let's give it a go. Today, yes today, two days rolled into one. I think I said yesterday, it's 11 meter tide. It's another meter and a bit today. Oh, but my, it's stormy. Listen to that. That's not Gary, that's his van. It's like being in Scooby-Doo sat in here. Oh. It's gonna be a tough one today. It's double the wind of yesterday and another meter height in tide, as I've said. So, uh, yeah, it's... The, the big differentiator today is light. Day two is a lot feistier. These are huge waves and we're not even close to the full tide yet. I'm gonna head down now to the lighthouse and just give it 10 minute stints because it's it's just so strong the wind incredible come on whoa, 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 whoa. I come back to the side of the van now is there uh, you won't hear me at all. It's ferocious. I'm seeing waves down near the, the lighthouse now that are just hitting the sides. They're going 60, 70 feet. It's taller than the buildings. Right, let's go and keep shooting. Magic moment, magic. I'm done. I'm kaput, done, got some great shots in the bag, but it is still performing some huge crashing waves. But we're gonna end it here. I might nip round, you know me, I can't stop. Gary's just been saying about sticking a 10 stop on, but in this wind, I'm not so sure. Here, we're sheltered, so it could work on the long lens and get some abstract uh, long exposures. But for now, if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more, hit the notification bell. And well, there's only one thing left to say, and that's... See there!